All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler here with the next episode, episode seven of the Engineer series here in Mass Effect. I just wanted to get down to it quickly. It looks like so that's what we're gonna do. Last episode we got done Novaria, so now. We're going to continue on with the quest. Commander, good to see you. Good to see you too, Garrus. A while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. Disturbing? What happened? Why were you investigating them? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts, organs mostly. Wow. I usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. Harvesting organs? Both, actually. But it took us a while to figure that out. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. Right. The, thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. Ah. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. Krogan testicles? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. <laughs> what did you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Interviewing? <laughs> Go on. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. Holy shit! Big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes, walking, living test tubes. Damn! He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess. But only on the inside, hidden, so nobody could see it. Shit! I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. We just used them to make more organs. But they wouldn't listen. Well, it's not worth the risk. You pursue the vessel and disable it. That's the best choice. They sent the military after him, but he got away just the same. Yes, they did. I went to Patton and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. Exactly, but... If you don't care about the fate of those hostages, <laughs> then you're no better than he is. You're just a terrorist with a badge. But that is true, though. Maybe you're right. It doesn't make it any easier, but I see your point. I just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salion? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. 
He changed shifts and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, <laughs> but I just can't get anyone to check it out. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. What do you want, Shepard? Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Like what? Such as? Such as? I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Really? Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. Holy shit, he was betrayed. Of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. <sighs> they followed Jared. One of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. Yeah, because he was set in his ways. The numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. I take it the warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. A neutral ground. Talk. Mm. We met at the hollows. Near the graves of our ancestors. Yeah? The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from. Where we all go. Huh. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. <laughs> it sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Jared was your father? He was. Yeah? Until that day. That was an, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> but we didn't get it. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard. <laughs> Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you smiling again. So, so to speak. <laughs> I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. Probably getting some nookie too. I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Saren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. I should go. See you later. Makes you wonder if Tally and um, Engineer Adams were banging each other. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. 
You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. Has your opinion changed at all? It has. I have been watching you and your crew. It has taught me a lot about your species. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what happened on Akuz. Damn, she's spying on us. ...shows a remarkable strength. Why are you so interested in me? I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. Williams and I are just friends, nothing more. My mistake then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. Yeah, maybe not. Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that too? No, you were right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. These things never make sense. They just happen and we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic, so dangerous. I'll keep you safe. I am not looking for a protector. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You. I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... Let's just talk about something else for now. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. <laughs> I forgot I... <laughs> Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. I'm listening. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of <laughs> Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. And here, I think I was just trying to plan my... The rest of the build is what I think I was doing. So now we're back on the Citadel. We're going to turn in some quests. I'm getting readings. This is going to make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. 
Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm going to show this to my publisher. No, I'm... Commander, any word on my missing men? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? A Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance Distress Beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher Nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance Beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Yes, they do. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. There we go. Finally. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. There we go. Willem's... There, that's better. I see. I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. Now here we talk to the son of Dantius. Did you find my sister? Dahlia's dead. I killed her myself. If you don't want to end up like her, start talking. No need to raise your voice, Commander. Surely you can understand why I lied to you. If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. That is why I misled you. I could not risk you exposing me. But now that Dahlia is out of the picture, it's no longer a problem. Next time, do your own dirty work. I am sorry I wasn't honest with you. We have trust issues in my family. You know, Nasana's, um... I shall transfer a Nasana's voice actor, she kind of sounds like, um, Azula from Avatar, The Last Airbender. I'm a Spectre, not some merc for hire. I can find credits anywhere. True, but I'm the only one who can authorize you to purchase prototype Asari mods. Zuzu. I will get you added to the manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in I swear, it's not, I'm going to look that up later. I am going to look that up later. And find out if that's true or not. Uh, come I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. <laughs> What's on your mind? With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one Spectre is enough. What if you signed me on as another Spectre? Conrad, I haven't been shot in the head nearly enough times to make that seem like a good idea. <laughs> joke if you want, but there were people who didn't believe in you, and you worked out, right? Yeah. I know you're afraid to trust people after losing your team at a coups, but I'd never let you down. All right. Okay, here's the test. I'm a bad guy. Stop me from killing you. Yeah. What? No, please. Please don't hurt me. Why are you doing this? This is how a gun in your face feels. It happens to me every day. You can't handle this. Damn right you can't handle this. Hero. Heroes don't do things like this. <laughs> I wish I'd never met you. Bitch. Okay, so what do I decide here? Pistols just to advance um marksman? And I do barrier.
Then I talked to Zabaleta again. Hey, back again, huh? I don't suppose you got any credits to spare. I heard you were at Mindoir. I wanted to talk about what you saw. Why? You think you got something profound to say about it? Yeah, I do. I like prize hogs, locked in cages, clawing and screaming as they're loaded into cargo pods. And we couldn't reach them. The Batarian defenses had us pinned. Dozens died trying to advance. All we could do was watch as they hauled people away. I've been looking for 13 years for something to make that sight go away. What have you got, huh? I'm not going to give you money to drink yourself to death. You need to stop this. If you <laughs> have a better option, just give me 20 credits. A good bottle of whiskey. Enough to stop the dreams. My mother said to go to the Veterans Affairs Office. You're not the only one who's seen that brand of hell. They can help. Yeah. D-A-O. God. <sighs> All right. If she wants me to go talk to someone, fine. I'll do it. For her. She always stuck up for me. <laughs> she always was naive. All the VAO does is pump you full of chemicals. If she wants to talk, tell her she can reach me through the Citadel VAO. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. <laughs> this is Admiral Goku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher Moor. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Cerberus. Yeah? An Alliance Black Ops organization. There we go, I think that's fine. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is, this is probably the last you'll hear from me. Yeah, you think? Cerberus is after me now. There we go. Disappear before they find me. There, that's better. That's better. Okay. So now we're gonna go find Dr. Hart. You don't have to bring Garrus with you, but I always do. Because Garrus is cool. And we gotta work up Garrus. We're gonna get his assault rifles just to unlock sniper rifles. Assault training is always good. So is tactical armor. There we go. Damping, come on, yeah, get damping. There you go. Okay. Maybe that's better now. Okay. Ah, we got one of them. Though we didn't kill it, but that's okay. Scratch one. Negative contacts, Commander. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Those things? Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. 
What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. Put him out of his misery so we can get going. Damn right. Gladly. Your days of butchering are over, oh. Doctor. No! Please! Please! I shot him in the back of the head. <laughs> Good. Remember that feeling. That's how it should be. I will, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. Okay. Now we're going to Benthu for uh, Uncharted Quest. Okay, what do we do here, I wonder? Oh, this might be one of the Cerberus um, facilities, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that's what that is. I gotta be one. I got her from around the corner. That was cool. <laughs> There we kill the Rachni. And this guy, he just runs around like a little pussy. I don't know why he does that, but he does. There we go. Okay. All clear. Looks like Cerberus has other bases on this world, Commander. Yep, so now we go to the next one. There we go.
See, I, d I just don't understand why these people run like fucking pussies. I, they do. You have no idea how annoying that is. And then finally they decide to come out. All right. I wonder what monstrosity Cerberus has been cooking up at the next base. You're actually supposed to wait till after, um, Pharos. Before you do these. And I, I don't understand why they offer it before Pharos. In the original on the PC, there's a mod where, um, you wait until the right time to do this. And then you end up getting way better equipment. You get Cerberus equipment. There, we got it. Ah, oh, we killed him. We killed him with a melee. <laughs> Boom. One last stop to make, Commander. We owe Kahoku that much. Oh, Goddess. It's Admiral Kahoku. Service must have tracked him down. There we go. So now we finish off this quest. Hades dog. Okay. And we go to finish off the Cerberus people here. There we go. And that's how you do that. Then all these you can open, I think. There we go.
All right, we leveled up because of that, and then we'll go back to the ship after we deal with the talent point. Do I do electronics first for the shields, or do I do hacking for the recharge rate? I do the shields first. Transmission coming in, Commander. I think you're going to want to hear this one. Who is it? Shepard. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. Who are you and who do you represent? Who I am is inconsequential. Suffice to say, I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. You see, Admiral Kahoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. Your deal died with Kohoku. Why should I help you? The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. No secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. Might as well be you. Transmit the files to us and you will be well compensated. I'll transmit the files. I knew you were a reasonable man, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us. Okay. Another mission here. Is this the one where we fight the Rachni? Yeah, that's what this one is. We find out that listening post has been overrun? Yeah, that's right. That's what this one is. Got it, finally. There we go. Some of these get so hard that you can't get them, but... That was it of them. Yeah. Who is Savant? We got a Savant on that one. Damn right. That's the best one for um, both bioamps and uh, or yeah, Omni tools. Why didn't I cut this out? That'd be perfect for shotguns. There you go.
There, we finally upgraded the um, combat optics. Mayday! 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 This is Lieutenant Marie Durand, 314th Infantry, Alliance 10th Frontier Division. The listening post has been overrun by unidentified hostile life forms. Request immediate extraction. Commander, you see this? They just received a supply run two days ago. The Rachni worked fast. Tell me about that supply ship. This planet is supposed to be uninhabited. The Rachni didn't come from nowhere. Hang on. Seems these things are drones, dispatched at irregular intervals from different depots, to reduce the likelihood of tracking. Got it. It came from Argos Row. Let's get this over with. Somebody needs an ass-kicking. Whoever it is, we'll find them there. Very well, Shepard. Very well. <laughs> Next, we're going to Nep Nepmos to help Lieutenant Marie Durand. Now, this one's the one where you go through the three ra three waves of um, Rachni. I cut out all the fighting, so because you don't need to see me stand there and kill the Rachni. There's no need for it, you know. I thought I cut this out. I guess I didn't. I could have swore I cut this out. I guess I didn't. I guess I didn't cut it out. First Lieutenant Duran, sir. 3rd Brigade, 14th Infantry Regiment. And I am damn glad to see you. We heard you needed some backup. Actually, we need to get the hell out of here. But I guess your ship couldn't carry us all. They dropped us here a few months back. We get supplies every couple weeks. We didn't see anything local that was more dangerous than lichen. Yesterday, these animals started coming out of the ground. No idea where they're from. This is what's left out of 90 men. I'm the ranking officer. They're called Rachni. You get a supply ship in recently? Yeah, but that was an Alliance ship, Commander. I mean, it was a drone, running on automatics. But what... We've seen this before. It's a long story, Lieutenant. What we just fought was a probe. Our seismic sensors are picking up a crap load more on their way up from underground. We've got five minutes, tops. We might be able to hold them off if we were at peak, but you can see the fighting's busted this place up. Secure those negative waves, Durand. You and me are gonna hold this worthless rock. Look to your people. We'll see if we can fix your defenses. Aye, aye, Commander. You heard the man. Everybody pool magazines and grenades. Take a leak and a drink while you can. And if anyone wants a smoke, it's as good a time as any. Area secured. Okay, we did cut it out. Nice. Talk about a near-run thing. You all right? I'm pissed off. When I get pissed off, I shoot things. Find me more bugs. 
Around here, they're more likely to find you. Ma'am, we're getting a signal from one of the ground scan UAVs. A big hollow space about 500 meters under the surface. Right, that must be it. That must be where they're coming from. My people aren't in any condition for a clearing operation, though. Just point us in the right direction. You don't have to do that, Commander. We've bled them. We can probably hold until a bigger ship arrives to get us off-world. If you want to take a throw at it, we'll give you the coordinates. But it's your call. You saved our asses, Commander. Thanks. Okay. So now we go down into the mine. And we fight more bugs. We kill them. I would cheese that one. All clear. You say that now, but we're not. All right. Think we got him, Commander. You say that now, but you're gonna see that there's gonna be more. Now they're starting to come out, come at us. All right. Yep, electronics. We want to max it just so we can get max shields. I try to decide which one I want to do, and it's shotguns for her and max out barrier for Liara. <clears throat> this one will be able to get him. Hey, man, this is much better than Predator. Sweet. Do I go buffer or exoskeleton? I think I go buffer. Just to get the cooldown reduction. All clear, Commander. Thank <laughs> you. 
There you go. Now we got everything set up. Okay, we got rid of all the Bracti. And now we're going to deal with that facility that sent the Rachni. Okay. Crossfire! Remember that song from the 90s? Crossfire! <laughs> I always wanted that game, but my mom would never get it. She was too scared we were either going to lose the BBs or we were going to swallow them. One of the two, you know? Crossfire! Personal data recorder for Major Elena Flores. Play the first entry. Sigma-23 is almost fully operational. The barracks and storage lockers are complete and we've begun stocking <clears> the munitions. <throat> it's highly unlikely the Alliance will patrol in the nebula. I expect our only risk will be from pirates, and who will believe them? Looks like we'll have space for two reinforced platoons of Cerberus commandos. Cerberus. Damn, should have known. Play the second entry. The package arrived today for field testing. I'm told they're fundamentally similar to the units being developed on Novaria. They promise this batch will be stable. Something about them developing in proximity to the master control unit. We detected some pirates setting up an anchorage in a neighboring system. I think we'll try deploying them there first. Play the last entry. They've escaped containment. Clever bastards. We treated them like animals. We should have treated them like POWs. They're spreading. Boarding the supply ships and sending them to random destinations. They'll be all over the cluster in a week. General, if you recover this message, my advice is, screw the Rachni. They're too smart. Use one of the other projects. Flores, signing off. For the final time. Another batch of experimental Rachni get loose. These things need warning labels. Yeah, you are right there. Okay, so now we're going to set off the detonation charge. We got a minute ten to get out of here. We gonna make it? Well, let's find out. Don't even bother fighting. Just run. Run, run, run.
Ooh, another savant. We don't need it for bioamp, though, unfortunately. Are we gonna make it? Oh, we found dead end. We gonna make it? Oh, it looks like we are. And we made it. We made it. <clears throat> oh, and that was the end. Huh. Okay, well, that's the end of this episode, then, it looks like. <laughs> I thought I went to Pharos, but I guess not. So anyway, hope you all had fun, and I'll see you all in the next episode.